Hello kids, welcome to today's maths class and today we'll do addition. Let's revisit. The number on the fishermen's are the answer to the sums on the boats. Draw the line to join the fishermen to the correct boat. Here some numbers are given to each fisherman. Here we have to add these two number and join with the correct number like 320 plus 180. The sum is 500. So this boat belong to this fisherman. So we'll join it like this. Clear? So like this you have to do this activity. Addition means combine one number with the another to get large numbers. The numbers that are added are called additants. Just number ko add karte hai, they are called additants. The result obtained after adding a call sum. And the result is called sum. We have learned addition up to four digit number in earlier class. So now we'll take an example. We have to add 715, 5400, and 2012. So all these three numbers, they are called addends. We'll add them. Start from once. 5 plus 2, 7. 1 plus 1, 2. 7 plus 4, 11. 1. 1 carry over. 5, 6, 7, and 1, 8. So the result 8127 that is called sum. Next is addition properties. Let us revise the properties of addition. First, when 0 is added to a number, the sum is a number itself. That means if we add 0 to any number, we will get the number itself as a sum. Like here. 8 plus 0 gives you 8. 46 plus 0 equals to 46. Next, when 1 is added to a number, the sum is the successor of the number. If we add 1 to the given number, we'll get next number or successor. 73 plus 1, that is equals to 74. Next, the change in the order of the addend does not change the sum of the two numbers. That means we can add two or more number in any order. The sum will remain same. Like here, 6710 plus 3104, sum is 9814. Here we change the order of additives. The sum is still same. So we can add two or more number in any order. A change in the grouping of the additants does not change the sum of the three or more number. This property is called grouping property of addition. That means we can add numbers in any order or we can add grouping kar sakte hai. Clear? So, for example, here we added these two numbers and the sum is 66,657. So, here first we have grouped these two numbers together and add them. And then the sum is added to this number. That is 11,111. We we'll get 77,768. It is the sum. Here, first we added th these two numbers and then added 11,111 to it. And now we have changed the grouping. First we added these two numbers. And then, the sum aega, we have added this to it. In both cases, the sum is same, 77,768. That means, in addition, we can group the number in any order. Next, addition of 5-digit and 6-digit numbers without regrouping. We add large numbers in the same way as we add smaller number. Starting from the ones place, we move left, adding the digit at the each place one after the other. Now we'll take an example. Here we have to add these three numbers. So we'll start 
from the ones. First add one, seven plus zero plus one, that is eight. Then we'll add tens. Zero plus five plus four, that is nine. Then add hundreds. Five plus three plus one, that is nine. Then thousands. One plus four plus zero, that is five. Then ten thousands. Three plus two plus one, that is six. And then add legs. Six plus one, seven. So we'll arrange the number like this according to their place value. We'll write ones under ones, tens under tens, hundred under hundred, and so on. Start adding from ones. Seven plus one, eight. Five plus four, nine. Five plus four, nine. Four plus one, five. Three to five and one six. Six plus one, seven. So, sum is seven legs, sixty-five thousand nine hundred ninety-eight. Clear? Next is practice corner three point one. Fill in the blanks. Eighteen plus zero. If we add zero to any number, the sum is number itself. So here the answer is eighteen. Clear? So you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. We'll move to next topic. Next, addition of five-digit and six-digit number with regrouping. Here we'll take an example and add these two numbers. So start from ones, add ones. That is one plus nine. That is ten. Write zero in ones column and carry one to the tens column. Clear? Then add tens. Eight plus four plus one. That is carried over one. Total is thirteen. Write three under tens column and carry one to the hundreds column. Clear? Then add hundreds. Three plus six plus one. Total ten. So write zero in the hundreds column and carry one to the thousands column. Add thousand four plus five plus one. That is ten. Write zero in thousands column and carry one ten thousand column. Clear? Then add ten thousand three plus five plus one. That is equals to nine. Write nine in ten thousand column. So our sum is ninety thousand thirty. So like this, we'll arrange the number. Start from ones. Nine plus one ten. Write zero here. One carry over to the tens place. Eight plus one nine. Plus four thirteen. Right three one carry over six plus three plus one ten zero one carry over five plus four nine and one ten. Right zero here and one carry over five plus three plus one total nine. So sum is ninety thousand thirty. Clear? Next is practice corner three point two. Add the following. Here we have to add two numbers. Start from ones five plus five ten. Write zero here and one carry over. Six plus one seven and one eight. Five plus three eight. Nine plus two eleven. Write one here and one carry over. Three plus one four and one five. Five plus three, eight. So answer is eight lakh fifty-one thousand eight hundred eighty. Like this, we'll add the numbers. Clear? You have to practice all the questions of this exercise. We'll move to next topic. Next, hearts. I am the greatest five-digit number in which each digit is greater than one before it. Which number am I? So five-digit number: ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten, thousand. Clear? Five-digit greatest number, and each digit is greater than one before. So, यहाँ पे आ जाएगा nine. Because greatest number is, and then eight, seven, six, five. So number is ninety-eight thousand seven hundred sixty-five. Clear? Next is story problems. 
the population of a city was 5,34,296 in the year 2022. It increased by 45,125 in the year 2023. What was the population of the city in the year 2023? So, solution population of the city in year 2022 was this and it increased by 45,125 in year 2023. So, we'll add 45,125 to the population of 2022. Add karenge, we'll get 5,79,421. That is the population of the city in 2023. Clear? Next is social emotional learning. An IPL tournament was being held, which would last for six days from Monday to Saturday. The number of spectators were as follow. Monday, 1,358. Tuesday, 1,914. Wednesday, 2,340. Thursday, 4,396. Friday, 2,423. And Saturday, 6,854. These are the number of spectators on particular day. Add the number of spectators for the first two days, next two days and last two days and round off the sums to nearest 1,000. So, first Monday plus Tuesday. So, number of spectators on Monday, 1,368. Clear? On Tuesday, 1,914. We'll add them together. 8. So, total kitte ho jayenge Monday, Tuesday, 3,282. And we'll round up to nearest 1,000. That is 3,000. Clear? Like this, we have to find the number of spectators for the next two days and so on. Next, practice corner 3.3. In an election, 64,235 votes were valid. 2,796 voters were rejected and 7,985 voters did not vote. Find total number of voters. So, solution ho jayega. Total number of valid vote that is 64,235. 2,796 were rejected and 7,985 voters did not vote. 7,985. So, we will add kar denge. 5 plus 5, 10 and 6, 16, that 6 here, 1, 9 and 1, 10, 18, 21, 2, 7, 8, 9, 9, 9, 18, 2, 20, 0, 2 carry over, 7 plus 4, 11, 7, total, 75,016. Total number of voters is 75,016. So, you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is multiple choice questions. Take the correct answer. Here, 182,879 plus 0 is 1,82,879. B is the correct answer. So, here we end the chapter. I hope you understand it well. Now, you have to practice it.